Welcome to our 2014 WWE Money in the Bank preview. This is going to be an epic event. We are guaranteed to see a brand new WWE Champion. Who will it be? We will certainly have to make our predictions because we have some choices. That is for sure. I'm RJ, joined by FPS Kyle. What's going on, everybody? Retro Brett. Yo. And Corey, live from his hometown in Tennessee, getting ready for this big event. C-Dub, are you ready? Oh, I'm absolutely ready, man. I'm really looking forward to uh, all of the uh, great ladder matches and uh, the other matches this Sunday. Uh, it's going to be a great pay-per-view, the money in the bank. You know, this is always one of my favorites. Uh, it might even be up there uh, third right after uh, the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania, perhaps. So, uh, of course, this year it's going to be much, much more interesting. We're going to have two ladder matches, not just the uh, traditional money in the bank WWE World Heavyweight title contract match, but we will also learn and be guaranteed a new WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Hell yes. This is going to be epic, guys. I'm excited. Can't wait till uh, Sunday. Let's go ahead and get right into it. We actually have to start off with the pre-show because this will be the very first appearance by one Daniel Bryan since he's been stripped. Retro Brett, are you excited to see the guy? Oh, of course. Um, Daniel Bryan is a very exciting athlete and entertainer. I'm looking forward to what he has to say, which could be anything. Mm -hmm. and what he'll do. Corey, do you expect any uh, big announcements from him, or is he going to be pissed, per se? Uh, you know, I could definitely see a big announcement coming, uh, possibly relating to his health and when he may return, uh, perhaps. You know, we did hear Dr. Maroon say that uh, he would undergo some further tests, and we would be updated there uh, shortly, so maybe... Uh, Maybe Daniel shows up on the pre-show, uh, pre-show, excuse me, with a tape from Doctor Maroon, perhaps explaining to us the situation. Uh, I hope, I really, really hope that we see Daniel Bryan uh, make his triumphant return to the ring by SummerSlam, if not at SummerSlam, uh, which of course is in August, and is traditionally one of the biggest pay-per-views of the year. Uh, you know, it's it's one of the big uh, building points, you know, where everything uh, kind of comes to a head and then it kind of cools off leading into the Royal Rumble and, of course, builds back up for WrestleMania. So I expect whatever, uh, you know, Daniel Bryan may end up doing with his interview uh, appearance on the pre-show, I expect it to have long-term ramifications on the, uh, the title picture in the WWE. What do you guys think? Well, here's the thing. We all are expecting, hopefully, good news from Daniel Bryan, but there is a possibility that we could get bad news. He's dealing with surgery here. Yeah. We've seen, of course, we're all big sports fans here. We, we watch the NFL, all these sports, where there's plenty of situations where these guys, especially when you're dealing with the neck, you know, you think you're going to be okay in a certain amount of time, but it doesn't always go as planned. Hopefully, we don't have any bad news coming our way. Yeah, hopefully not, because I feel whoever's going to win this heavyweight championship match kind of is going to have an asterisk next to it, because technically you didn't defeat the person who was holding the belt. Mm -hmm. um, so I would like to see him come back so he can, you know, regain his, his belt and, and uh, possibly have to defeat whoever wins this uh, heavyweight championship. Yeah. The only bad news I want to hear from... Money in the Bank is Bad News Bear. Yeah. Well, Daniel Bryan, is, he was a hell of a champ. So hopefully we get good news, and hopefully we see him as soon as possible. If Corey's prediction is right to see him by SummerSlam, that great. would be phenomenal. Yep. All right. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and talk about this female right here we're looking at, Fine Paige. And uh, she's going to be facing off with Naomi for the Diva Championship. Corey, I can't see Naomi wi uh, Naomi winning this. What do you think? Uh, you know, uh, I think this will be a pretty good match. Hopefully they, uh, you know, as we covered in the Raw recap this week, uh, they sort of focused on the commentary between uh, Cameron and Paige at ringside while uh, Naomi faced off with Alicia Fox. And I felt like it kind of cheated the Divas division, but it also, you know, as far as the entering action, but it also... Um, 
it sort of got over that Cameron is going to end up turning on her partner. I expect Paige to retain after Cameron costs Naomi the match, mm. which, of course, will set up the big feud and the split, the long-awaited, long-anticipated split of the Funkadackles. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. I agree. Uh, Retro Brett, you better not pick Paige to lose. That's all I got to say. <laughs> well, unfor- well, fortunately, I agree wholeheartedly with uh, Corey there. I think it's the D- Divas Division is actually going to get a couple storylines coming out of this, whereas the Funkodactyls are going to split, which is good news. I mean, they're both very, very fine women, but uh, everything's got to go their separate ways eventually, and uh, I don't see Paige losing. I think they're still building her up. Yeah, I'm, st- I'm actually looking forward to the eventual Paige versus Cameron match. That'll probably be pretty interesting. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, I mean, I, I just like the way Paige was playing off in, in Monday Night Raw was, you know, Cameron's not even on her level. It's almost pointless for even, to even fight her. She was giving a lot of props to Naomi, actually, which uh, I think this is going to be a good matchup between the two of these. Naomi's, you know, she's huge. Uh, Paige is obviously a high flyer, so it's going to be fun to watch them go at it. But I do agree with Corey. Something's going to happen here because they were just, it was too obvious how much they were trying to set it up. They really, like Corey said, took away from the actual match itself just to make sure we knew that something was going to happen between the three of them. So mm-hmm. uh, who knows? Maybe they surprise us three and something way. good happens. <laughs> hey. Maybe, guys, we could see, of course, the, uh, the somewhat uh, mentally unstable Alicia Fox. Mm-hmm. Maybe somewhat. she is the one responsible for Cameron's recent change in attitude. And we could see a, uh, a new team, perhaps, in Naomi and Paige taking on Cameron and Alicia Fox, the uh, crazy chicks. Hmm. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, I like well, that. Oh, in the end, it uh, looks like we all pick Paige here. I expect her to win, of course, with the submission hold there on Naomi and retain her championship. Because you would fire us if we disagreed with the RK. Yes. Good job picking Paige, guys. Uh, next battle we're going to talk about is definitely one we're looking forward to. The Usos, they've held this championship for a little while now, but it might be coming to an end because the Wyatt followers, Luke Harper, Eric Rowan, have some definite momentum. On the last episode of Raw, we saw them actually steal the uh, championship belts from the Usos here who we're looking at and uh, kind of stare at them oddly. And it's probably foreshadowing what's going to happen here in this event. What do you think, Corey? Uh, you know, I think what we're going to end up seeing, uh, of course, you know, tonight on or yeah, tonight on Raw, we saw uh, a bunch of ladders, you know, placed at ringside, which is traditionally some of the, uh, you know, the way that the stage is set up for the Money in the Bank pay per view. There's just a massive amount of ladders everywhere. Um, so I could definitely see at the pay per view maybe. Uh, the Usos, although this isn't a ladder match, I could see them hitting some kind of huge, crazy move, possibly at ringside off the ladder. But, uh, you know, something big to pop the crowd as a big opener. Um, but in the end, I see the the, uh, the Wyatt followers, Rowan and Harper, I see them coming ahead, you know, by some kind of underhanded means and capturing the WWE Tag Team Championships that we saw them uh almost in a trance over tonight as they held them in their grasp above their heads, almost uh, signaling, as RJ said, perhaps some foreshadowing, Kyle? Uh, possibly. I I don't know, man. I'd, I just don't see the Usos being able to match up with Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. Like we said, Luke Harper and Eric Rowan are, are some goons. There are some big guys. Um <laughs> Like you said, with with the ladders being in play, maybe the Usos pull off some crazy thing off a top ladder on top of them, and, and that's how they win this um, to re, you know to to keep the uh, the tag team championship. Uh, but I'm I'm liking the Wyatt family here, and uh, you, you're exactly right. Maybe this is kind of leading us towards the next match in the fight, and the uh, actually at uh, Money in the Bank. Yeah, I mean we so we just got the introduction of a brand new. Wyatt follower theme, the the whole world in his uh, hands theme. So they're given the new theme. Are they going to get the title retro? I believe so. They've uh, they've been pushing the what all three of the Wyatts pretty heavily recently. Um, to touch on what uh, the Wyatts did at the end of the match, remind me of ooh shiny <laughs> shiny objects shiny or like objects. a fish looking at a 
a hook, a shiny hook. <laughs> You're like, hmm, what's yep. going to happen? And much like them, the fish biting the hook, I think that the Wyatt followers are going to be biting, so to speak, the uh, tag team champions coming up on Sunday. Uh, this is not official match we're going to talk about next, but we are fully expecting and predicting Big E to fight with the Beast, Rusev, and uh, hopefully come out sexy Lana there at the Money in a Bank event. Uh, assuming this is going to be a fight, Corey, uh, it would be a pretty big deal if Big Rusev here were to lose to Big E. Do you think that's a possibility? Uh, you know, I think it's certainly a possibility. Uh, of course, in our last matchup, and I believe it was the last pay-per-view, or maybe it was the one before that. I can't necessarily remember right now. Uh, you know, they had a pretty good match. I believe Rusev did get the upper hand and win. Uh, I could maybe see this going to a, uh, you know, being a, a somewhat short match, about 10 minutes. Uh, typical big man powerhouse offense. Uh, I see it in the end going down to a, uh, you know, kind of a screwy finish. A, uh, you know, unconclusive, inconclusive, rather, finish. Um, perhaps a double DQ, double count out. Something where there's no uh, definite winner and we can extend this feud between these two powerhouses. Uh, probably, as of right now, I would venture to say uh, two of the most impressive-looking uh, physiques in the WWE yeah. right now as far as just pure raw strength. Uh, Kyle, you know, you're obviously an athlete. Uh, you know, you uh, played some sports in your day. What do you think as far as these big guys here, uh, Rusev and Big E? I mean, you know, uh, Big E is a, uh, a power lifter. He actually holds power lifting records in the state well, of Florida where you compete. Exactly. That's what I would, I'd like to see these two guys, like, do some type of lift off, like, see who's actually strong. <laughs> these guys are beasts. I mean, they have some, you know, your legs are massive. They're very strong guys. I just feel that Rusev has always had the upper hand on Big E. Uh, I don't feel that that Big E is enough of a of a challenger for the you know the mighty Rusev. I think uh, I think he is going to defeat him if they do in, in fact have a match here. And uh, I think it's going to kind of set the way to that we need somebody else to kind of step up to Rusev, kind of in this whole Russian thing. Maybe like a John Cena, uh, you know, pure American type guy that's going to be able to finally take out Rusev and say you know enough of this Russian crap. Um, and, and, and somebody a little better than Big E right now because I'm just not seeing it from him. Yeah, I'm picking Rusev just because when Rusev did come out to face off with Big E in uh, Monday Night's Raw, I mean, Rusev destroyed him. It didn't take too long. Exactly. Got him in the acolyte. I'm going with Rusev on Sunday if, if it does, of course, become a match. He hit him from behind. That's a huge difference. Mm, good point. But here is my crazy prediction. It's going to be Big E... And Jim Duggan versus uh, Rusev and Nikolai Volkov. Hmm. Oh wow, that would be shocking. That would Actually, be crazy. No. <laughs> hey yo! You picking Rusev there, Retro Brett? Big E. Big E. I actually think it's gonna go to Big E. Stop the sure. presses. Code Blue. Retro <laughs> Brett has picked Rusev to actually lose. Unbelievable. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, let's get into the ladder matches. This is what everybody's been waiting for. Yeah. First of all, the traditional ladder match. This is going to be for a chance at a contract to where the winner will have a fight against the champion for the championship at any point of their choosing. We have Kofi Kingston, Bad News Barrett, Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, former Shield members, Jack Swagger, Dolph Ziggler, and the legend... RVD. Retro Brett, who's your pick? Uh, I'm going to have to go with Seth Rollins. I mean, there's a, a good couple people you can think about. Um, uh, Dean Ambrose is one of them. That's a good good pick. And uh, Bad News Barrett is also a trendy pick, but I, I think it's going to Seth Rollins there. Hmm. They're pushing him really hard these days. Now, C-Dub, I believe you disagree. What do you think's going to happen? Well, guys, if you don't mind me channeling my inner uh, fellow Tennessean Zeb Coulter, a.k.a. Dutch Mantel, and being a bit of a conspiracy theorist here, kind of going outside of the box. Of course, we have seen thus far, as we go to press time, of course, we're uh, recording this after Monday Night Raw on Monday night. So, uh, you know, as of press time, 
We've only seen seven guys introduced into this Money in the Bank contract match. My prediction is that we see, after Seth Rollins, Kofi Kingston, Jack Swagger, Dolph Ziggler, Rob Van Dam, Bad News Barrett, and Dean Ambrose have all really beaten each other just to a complete pulp. I see, in a shocking twist, the music of the beast, Brock Lesnar hitting. Brock Lesnar joins the match and wins the Money in the Bank contract. Wow, shocking. I've heard some rumors of Brock Lesnar possibly making a return as, you know, nobody said he's gone anywhere. He just has been MIA, so to speak, since he defeated The Undertaker. Uh, interesting pick. Corey's going with surprise yeah. pick Brock Lesnar, who we haven't heard anything of. Kyle, who are you picking? Well, I'm not going that far off. Um, I do believe, because there's only seven people in this, I do believe somebody is going to get out of uh, so that's that's a pretty good guess there from from Corey from C Dub. I'm thinking Dean Ambrose is going to be the one to come away with this. I think it's going to set up something here between Seth Rollins and Triple H. We saw how they left it off. Seth Rollins says he needs Dean Ambrose to be in this match because or else he's going to get blindsided by him. You know because Dean Ambrose went crazy on Monday Night Raw, came in, defeated Rollins, got him off, got him out of there. Said he is going to be at Money in the Bank and he's going to be at the top of that ladder to get that briefcase, no matter if he's in the in the match or not. He's going to be there and do it. So I think Dean Ambrose has got a lot going for him here. I think he's going to end up knocking off Seth Rollins, and uh, now Seth Rollins is going to have to answer to Triple H and say, "Hey, I told you if I'm bringing him in this, you better defeat him or it's on you." Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely crazy right there. That adds a different perspective. Kyle's going with Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose. Retro Brett going with Seth Rollins. Rollins. And Corey <laughs> going with, uh, of course, Brock Lesnar. I'm picking Bad News Barrett. I think BNB is going to get this thing and have a chance at the title at some point hmm. coming up. All right, guys, the main event, one of the most epic matches of the year so far. It's a huge match. A lot of star power. John Cena, Kane, Randy Orton, Alberto Del Rio, Roman Reigns, Bray Wyatt, Sheamus, and Cesaro. Corey, who do you got? Well, uh, you know, in this match, of course, tonight on Raw, we saw Kane get added late as the eighth man in the match and of course get nailed with the spear uh, almost seemingly out of nowhere by uh, Roman Reigns. Definitely go back and check out our Raw recap for a uh, full summary of all that. Myself, personally, I expect in this match um, I expect for Reigns and Kane to kind of eliminate each other um, and maybe that'll be a, a feud of some sort. You know, Kane somehow keeps Roman Reigns away from the title in this match. Uh, costs in the title and some crazy, uh, you know, absolutely nutty Kane, you know, <laughs> and basically in a way that only Kane can, you know, uh, yeah. something crazy, you know, maybe locks him in the boiler room. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, I see that happening, uh, basically eliminating Roman Reigns. I, all, I mean, I kind of wish Roman Reigns would win it just because he's so hot right now and he's a young guy. The crowd loves him. But, Spoiler alert, Retro Brett, you're going to love it. <laughs> Cena wins. No yeah. way. Yes. Corey is yes. picking John Cena. Yes. Corey, are you okay? But, 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 stand by, folks. No, As was... I mentioned earlier, I predicted in the contract match that Brock Lesnar would make his shocking return and capture the WWE World Heavyweight Championship contract. My prediction is that Brock Lesnar will come out and immediately defeat John Cena for the title, thus setting up a rematch from their previous feud at Battleground for the title. Wow. Brock Lesnar versus John Cena. Guys, here's the thing. Brock Lesnar is a legit athlete. I mean, you know, he's, you can go over and over with all the accolades about him. Uh, you know, he has a ton of st uh, star power, arguably uh, as much, if not more, as John Cena, uh, more than John Cena, rather. Um, WWE, if you've noticed, they've, they've utilized part-timers a lot, so I expect us to see uh, Brock Lesnar capture it here. 
defeat Cena, and they utilize him going into the return of Daniel Bryan for a huge match Heck at yeah. SummerSlam. Daniel Bryan versus Brock Lesnar for the title. That'd be so Holy epic. Cr- that's crazy. Crazy prediction. Corey, Kyle, who do you have winning this thing? Uh, this is definitely tough to pick. I'm going with my man Roman Reigns. I'm calling it now. I think the leftover products of the Shield are going to come together. You're going to be the heavyweight champion, Roman Reigns. You're going to have Dean Ambrose winning the money or the Money in the Bank ladder match, and uh, that's that's my prediction. That would be They're huge. Go against each other, Roman. I don't know. Wow. That's that's the thing. Wow. There's no more Shield, so they're separate. Wow. Roman Reigns, popular pick. Retro Brett, who are you taking? I'm going to say Bray Wyatt is going to surprise you. Really? Uh, It's too open, up in the air for me to predict who's going to win. So I'm just going to say Bray Wyatt's going to surprise you. What the hell? Walk up the fucking ladder or something? Uh, Corey's picking picking John Cena. Retro Brett's picking Bray Wyatt. What's up is down. Which is forward is backwards. I'm totally confused. I am picking Sheamus to come out on top in this one. Surprise everybody because nobody sees it coming. And then Sheamus, I think, will be the title holder coming out of this year's Money in the Bank event. But you never know. Like I've said, Randy Orton could come out with this. Hell, even Cesaro could come out with this thing. It's it's up for grabs, literally. Del Rio (laughs) has no no chance. chance Randy Orton, no chance. Hey, you know, nah, the Viper. I see I see the John Cena thing, man. Because remember, John Cena is real vocal about about Daniel Bryan not, you know, getting stripped from it. So it, maybe John Cena wins it for Daniel Bryan. Thank you guys for joining us for our predictions and preview for this year's Money in the Bank. I'm RJ for Kyle. Take it easy. Retro Brett. See ya. C-Dub, take it out. Guys, as as I said, watch out for the beast, Brock Lesnar, to come out with the title this Sunday after he defeats John Cena. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, drop us in the comments who you think is going to win. Give us your predictions. As always, stay tuned and stay true.